Alright, Jack here again. Uh, this time we're going to review another piece of gear that I think should uh, be in everyone's bug out bag. Again, it all comes back to gear that is effective, gear that is lightweight, gear that will fit in your pack uh, and not take up much space volume wise. Today's piece of gear we're going to look at is the Mini Water Filtration System by Sawyer. I got a new one here. It's not been opened, so let's go ahead and open this up do a bit of an unboxing oh and if you're wondering what this is this is a delicious beer no it's not it's uh it is contaminated water what is it contaminated with well it's not it's not what you're thinking I know what it looks like but uh, it's actually right there it's got uh, a nice capped end little protector it's got a uh, a nipple there tapered at the very end so that you can insert it into another tube system so they have multiple ways this can be used so let me let me show you a picture of that it can be used as a straw so that's what this guy's here for there right suck on it it's a straw it can be used where I would actually fill this up and squeeze it out. So it's just a little cheap little pouch here. Uh, I don't know. I probably wouldn't take this with me. Straw, nice lightweight little guy. You can get a straw anywhere, but it comes with the pack. A huge syringe. Wow. All I know is if, if a doctor showed up with this and a needle, <laughs> I would run. I would not stick around. Um, this is a scary looking syringe if it, if it wasn't for water, but. Uh, it does say not for medical use, so uh, thank you Sawyer for clarifying. Okay, so we're done with that. It can filter up to 100,000 gallons with this one filter. That's what it's rated for, supposedly, per Sawyer. That's pretty spectacular. It's tiny. This thing's probably, what, two ounces? Let me see here. Only two ounces. So. I always have to get out my packing scale to verify that. Okay, I got my packing scale. We'll turn on this camera so you guys can see front and center what this uh, what this guy weighs. Right, we're recording, so this is a Sawyer filter going on to the weight scale. I'm getting 1.4 ounces. Wow! So you can filter a hundred thousand gallons of water while you're trekking across country, while you're bugging out, while you're backpacking, whatever. You know, if you're only bugging out a couple days, you're good to go, this one filter. And this one filter could, I don't know, it could maybe last a lifetime. I don't know if over time there's a shelf life on these on these filters for some reason or not, but 100,000 gallons, that's a lot of water. So right there, this makes this a very cool, lightweight, bug out bag friendly device. I mean, you could just take this right here, stick this into a river or stream, suck, and drink up. So, okay. Let's, uh, a couple other facts and figures here. New, removes 99.99999%. One, two, three, four, five nines after the decimal point. So 99.99999% of bacteria, which is like salmonella, Chloria and E. coli, and 99.9999% of protozoa, which is Guardia and stuff like that. And that's all done without using chemicals, with, with just filtrations. It's interesting that the bacteria has five nines after the decimal point, but the protozoa, protozoa, my pronunciation sucks, I know. Protozoa, protozoa, is only four nines after the decimal point. So, yeah, I don't know why that uh, it's not as good at doing the protozoa as the bacteria. Nine 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 nine. It's pretty incredible if it lives up to that. So there's you know you know we we have our commercials for for medicines and stuff, and they always show those little graphics. Well, there's a little there's a little graphic for you to see visually what we got going on here. Okay. We're done with those. 
and they gave us this nice rubber band. Let's see if I can. Awesome. So I'm most interested in using this guy to drink that. So here I have this glass full of dirt from my garden out back. Just went out and grabbed that. See, there's some nice floaty debris in there. So this would be something maybe if you had had to get water from a small muddy area and you're trying to collect this stuff or you're trying to get down on your hands and knees and you know suck some of that out like that. It very well could have that much kind of dirt and debris and whatnot in it. You can see it's, it's gross water. Screw on to our squeeze water filtration system. The flow will be out through the filter and into this one. So, all right. Looks much, much better. Tastes like fresh water. Yeah, so I believe it does, for the most part, what it says it does. It filters out the sediments, it filters out the protozoas, it filters out the bacterias. So let's cover why you need one of these. Why can't you just go drink from any river or swing stream? A common misconception in survival and, and, and preparedness that you could just, uh, you could just drink from a, a flowing water, especially if it's like a a babbling brook or a, a beautiful spring that happens to be producing water constantly and it will likely be very clean water but are you gonna stake your life and are you gonna stake your health on drinking that water with nothing between you and the water because what can happen you don't know if there's a dead carcass just upstream just just around the bend right and here you are you're drinking this water that's actually contaminated with bacteria that's the kind of stuff that's going to make you sick for three days. I can't imagine anything being more dangerous than trying to bug out in an emergency situation when you're trying to make, you know, eight miles a day, you're trying to be fast, you're trying to be quick, you're trying to be tactical. You got to stop every 10 minutes because, you know, you need to use the bathroom and you got stomach cramps and diarrhea. So you're losing water on a continual basis and you're having to drink more and more water to flush that out and stay healthy and, and you don't feel good and yeah, it's miserable and you're not going to make many miles and that could put your survival at jeopardy. So you got to have something and Sawyer's one of the best. It's the lightest, 100,000 gallons each time you buy one of these. So if you have any family members, you should buy multiple. And so you can usually pick these up on Amazon for like 19 bucks, 20 bucks. But I recommend you go to uh, Survival Frog where, where we buy a lot of our key gear and they have a deal on these things where if you buy three of them, which, you know, if you have a couple family members or you want to put one in your bug out bag and one in your glove box and one in your get home bag, there's three right there. But if you want to buy multiple of these, which I, I recommend you should, um, you can get a deal where you actually get three of these plus a little pocket stove, which is a little stove that you can pop open. It's got these burners, these candle burners that you can light and you can cook food or uh, boil a pot of water and it's great for an emergency, um, whether you're on a go, like a get out, uh, get home bag or just at home and you happen to lose power or lose gas or whatever, you have this little emergency system. So it's a pretty cool little gear. You're going to pick up the Sawyer Minis at a really great price as well. So check that link out down below and uh, grab that deal, pick a couple up. Put them in strategic locations, like I said. Put them in your bug out bag, your get home bag, and your glove box. Uh, make sure your wife or your kids or your family all have one. And then you'll be all set. You'll be ready to go. And when emergency strikes, boom, you'll have your water clean and fresh.